In this video, we're going to learn how to rewrite absolute value as piecewise. So when we did absolute value in Algebra 1, you know that you always wrote it twice. You wrote it once positively, and you wrote it once negatively. Well, that's the beginning of a piecewise function. So we're going to rewrite this function in two pieces once positively and once negatively. Now we need to know what I call the breaking point on an absolute value function. x plus 2, if I set that equal to 0, I get x is negative 2. So negative 2 is going to be my breaking point. So my positive function is going to be x is greater than negative 2. My negative function is going to be less than or equal to negative 2. If you want to think of it as a graph, this is a V-shape that has been shifted left to, and so this side has an equation of x plus 2, and this side over here, negative x minus 2. And again, we could distribute the negative if we really wanted to. Let's do another example. So in example 2, again, we're going to rewrite this once positively and once negatively. We have f of x is equal to, we now have two pieces. If we set the inside equal to 0, we get x is 3. So we have x is greater than 3, x is less than or equal to 3. In our third example, uh, again, we're going to write this once positively and once negatively, we're going to have our f of x, we're in two pieces, set 2x plus 1 equal to 0, so 2x is negative 1, x is negative half, we have x is greater than negative half, x is less than or equal to negative 